Hi guys, welcome back to this latest episode in the series of building the GT40 chassis from our laser pack, um, laser cut tube pack. Uh, in this video, I'm going to quickly finish the front of the uh, main sort of cockpit off, um, and for this, we'll need tube T2002, a pair of T2005s, and a pair of T2006s and also at least two of the V1003 tubes. So first of all, I'm just gonna make myself a little jig up to um, hold the tubes as I put them on, hold them at the right height, and then I'll do a diagonal um, measurement across the front here, on these tubes up here. I'll do a couple of diagonal measurements to make sure that's laterally in the right place. And my little jig will just make sure that that is perfectly on top of that lower tube. And then the T5 and T6 tubes literally just sort of kink in as per the cuts and the sockets. And that complete, and then the V1 003 tubes go across here. To connect the lower rails to the top rails and that's essentially that part of the chassis fin um, tacked up and structurally finished and um, that will allow us then to go through and put quite a lot of the rest of the structure together put the dash frame on put the side um, seals on and start putting some of the tri triangulation in uh, and building the sort of front structure that goes from here back and connects the dash frame together uh, so this is the sort of last part of the cockpit to do and then we can start really getting in with some of the finer details of the chassis so i'll build this jig and then we'll come back and we'll go from there okay so i've set the front tube up as you can see i've welded here some anti-roll bar mounts and uh, they come with the anti-roll bar kit. Um, if you're desperate to put them in at this stage, give us a shout and I can forward some on. So what I've done here is made myself a little jig, an old bit of 40 by 40 tube, clamped to the bottom just so that I know that I've got the front faces in alignment. I've borrowed a couple of V1001 tubes from another kit and you can always cut yourself some the right length to act as spaces so that I know I've got the right height. And now I'm going to do some diagonal measurements from this corner here to this corner here, equalise them so that I know that laterally this is in the correct place. And then all I've got to do with the other two tubes is bridge the gap and use the V1003 tubes connect bottom uh, rails to top rails. Okay, so I'm happy that that's in alignment. That's all clamped up. So now we connect T5 and T6 uh, T2005 and T2006. T2006 is a bit tricky to know which ends which because they're very similar cuts. But if you look on this end, you've just got a little window next to the, to the main jigsaw piece. So that indicates that it goes at the back. That goes there. And then T5. Obviously the bigger angle cut to the front and the matching angle here at the back.
We just want very light tacks at the moment with these tubes because there may be some little shuffling about when we uh, check alignment at the moment. Okay, like always, we double check our alignments by doing diagonal measurements. That's absolutely spot on uh, either side, not even a millimetre's difference. Okay, so that's got that part done. Now to put the V1003 tubes in to support this vertically. They're going in two positions. Okay, something to note on the V1003 tubes is there's a, ever such a subtle compound angle on it. The only way you really know which way to put it in is to offer it up to this corner on the lower rails and you see this is the wrong way around, upside down because it's come forward at this point. Just turn it over and there you go, we've got the right alignment. So that's how we want it. On your chassis, you'll have little um, sockets to indicate where this goes. On this particular chassis, for some reason, they've missed out putting the uh, <coughs> sockets in the lower rails. So I've just got to lose the pegs and measure it. <coughs> but for reference, it's 360 millimetres across. Put those in both sides. So I've got that bit done. Now the build starts to get towards my favourite part. That's putting the side seals on 
really building the rest of the structure, the dash frame and the stuff that comes from the front to support the dash frame. Ah, before we do that, we can put in the T2004 tubes, which support the uh, top shock absorber mounting um, for the front. There we go. So there we go, there's the overall um, chassis to the stage where we've got it to so far. A couple of little sub, a uh, couple of sub assemblies to put on now. So the side seals uh, we have to go first because the dash frame mounts off of those, so we'll do that next. And then once we've got those on and the dash frame on, we can do the f uh, rest of the front. And uh, at that point, you've got a chassis, uh, pretty much all of the chassis there. Um, we can get on to putting brackets and stuff like that on it. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to get on with the next episode straight away. Uh, so I uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, if you want to see more, if you want to keep up to date with the build and maybe build your own chassis, you can always uh, have a look at our website www.gtforte.co.uk where you'll find details and the ability to buy the chassis kit. Uh, notifications will come uh, directly to you about the next video if you subscribe to the channel. Um, so I hope you choose to do that. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Cheers.